All right. Use the mansion key. Now I gotta do the stupid shoving the statue bullshit like we did with Jill. And I'm actually gonna explore that spider hallway now. Come on, you can do it. Whew! Fucking close call. Oh, no defense item. Fucking penis. All right, jump down here. We are gonna grab the book. We need the book. One of two books. Uh, something. Yes, please. There's gonna be some spotters down here. Ah! Is there anything over here? Ah, uh, there's some shotgun shells. Well, that would have been nice, I guess. Ah! Fuck! Thanks for getting right in my fucking face, buddy. Okay, so there's... I guess there's a map down there and some shotgun shells. Why you would need a map down here, I don't fucking know. It's not like I'm gonna spend enough time down here to... get anything. Shut the fuck up. All right, grab this dagger. My goodness. See, the thing is, it's like, I like spiders. I'm not actually like too scared of spiders, but like, I don't like shit sneaking up on me, especially spiders. I think there's a small key in here. Yes, there is. I'm good at games. All right, so we got the small key just in case we need it. I don't actually know if we will or not. So if I'm like 100% sure that um, I'm not gonna be uh, Hey, you got any of that lamp? If I'm 100% sure that I'm not going to be um, using one before I leave the mansion, I'm just going to discard it. Alright, there's some magnum rounds. This fucking game gives you a lot of magnum rounds as Chris. Like, holy fuck. They really want you to use that shit. Okay, so we are now out of inventory space. That's not good. Um... So, we need to go to a save room real quick um, and deposit the book because we are definitely not going to be using that. So I missed. Oh, shit! I fucking hate how they just start running immediately. Fucker. Piece of shit. He's a crimson head too. Fuck you. You dumpster fucking diving pile of shit. Use the mansion key. I don't believe there's any, like, if you go to get the jewels, um, or not the jewels, if you go to fucking get the, uh, the MO disc, those hunters come through that fucking window. God damn that. Fuck. I hate getting scared. Um, is there nothing? I think, what are those mag? Oh, okay, no. No, thank you. Handgun is for noobs. JK, I'm literally using a fucking noob weapon. All right. Um, we're going to push these things here because we need the jewels. And then we need to go kill the lights. Whee! Woo! <laughs> Let's do the gemstone thing. In the original game, it was a red and blue gemstone. The blue gemstone, I think, gives you gives you shotgun shells, I think, even as Chris. I think it's the same shit for both characters. Snack. Big fucking snack. 
Uh oh. Uh, I'm like pissed off now. All right. Just need to hit him once with this fucking thing. Uh, you can't kill him when he's on that balcony. I know that for a fucking fact because I've actually like shot him with four acid rounds up there before and he was still alive. Which would kill him on any difficulty with that many rounds. But once I got to the bottom, I just hit him with a handgun and he died, so... Proof enough that he was at one hit point. Okay, uh, written word is dead something. I think, yeah, forgetting that book. Yawn. Okay, well, I didn't even mean to... Okay, I'm shut the fuck up. We're head back now. We got both the books... Which is the entire reason we came back to the mansion in the first place. And to get that battery. All right. Okay, good. I do still have an empty spot. Awesome. Dope. Rad. Sweet. Cool. I'm still going to run forward once I get in here. Just because I don't know what this fucker's like. If he's just going to lunge immediately. Fuck you. Enjoy being a crimson head asshole. He just turns into a crimson head and gets back up later. Everything hurts! I know. Okay, I'm like, I'm just gonna rotate it and fucking mash A until, uh, until it works. Also, cool sirens. This is why I wanted to use that key. Because now I just jump straight to the fucking area where I need to go, and I need the crank. That's right, I need the crank. Can't forget the crank. I hate that fucking word, crank. Back in here, where we're gonna go get our crank. Where is that piece of shit? Uh, okay. Uh, we are gonna go into that room that we used that brooch key on real quick, because I think there's a self-defense item in there. I kinda want it. It might be a grenade. Rebecca, is she upstairs? What? Is she upstairs? Are you fucking serious? I'm not done with this shit yet. Uh. Oh, there is a grenade up. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess we're not quite done because Rebecca's upstairs. Darn it. Is this the room? Ah! <laughs> Bitch. I got you, Becca. Don't you worry about it. He's dead. Becca. Chris. Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. You didn't handle yourself against this fucker, but be careful. Okay, so I guess you get an achievement for doing that, so make sure you save Becca. Or don't, I guess. It doesn't matter. I think, um, I don't actually remember if you... I would imagine so, because there's a uh, achievement beating the game with Jill and Chris. I think that means like playing through both scenarios. But it's a good thing I did that. So, got that achievement! Hooray! Okay, so there's no dogs here. Thank fucking god. But... There's no blue herbs here. Fuck me. Well, hopefully I don't get bit. And this is where I get bit and poisoned. If if that is the case, then I am on a real-time crunch. I don't know if poison kills you faster on this difficulty. I have no fucking idea. In any event, I forgot I'd be going past an area with stupid fucking snakes. So... Oh, wait. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. That's That's not what I was supposed to do. Oh! Oh! I, I did it! 
I did it. I got through without getting bit. Oh, all right. I feel pretty good after that. I feel pretty fucking kosher. Use this. We can now take the elevator back up. Yeah, because we have to go use the crank now. Oh my fucking god. Use the goddamn crank. I hate cranks. My fucking god. Resident Evil loves their fucking cranks, though. Even the word sucks, crank. God damn. Nobody uses that word. Who uses crank? Unless you work with the fucking things daily, you don't use the word. Oh, I make cranks. It's about the only person that says that. Okay, well, drain the water. Or not drain it, but put the dam back up at the crank. <sighs> this is where things get a little interesting. We're in close quarters. And we get a flamethrower here. Alright, there's nothing in here that we can get right now other than those than that clip that's on the ground. Which I really don't need. We need to go back here and talk to the person that has the crank that we need. Another fucking crank. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, Rel. Enrico! Double crosser. It was Jill. Or was it Barry? Or was it Wesker? Dun dun dun. Killed him with just one shot. Who could it be? Well, it's definitely not Jill. Barry, maybe? He's a good shot. Alright, pick up the stupid fucking crank. What's up, man? Surprise! Happy birthday! Don't fucking do that! Nobody can give Hunk surprise birthday parties because that's pretty much what winds up happening. As soon as he opens the door, he just fucking, like, unleashes a barrage of fucking missiles. Give him a birthday party, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> oh, it's too fun. It's just too much fun. All right, we're going to put this fucking green crank away because we're never going to use it ever again. We are gonna... Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna say fuck that. Where's the fun in that? Hmm. Am I gonna need that? Well, you can actually use this to... Um, burn the fucking... The spider webs. On uh, Black Tiger's... In Black Tiger's room. Whew. That was close, huh? Chris isn't even out of breath. Jill was like gasping for air in her thing. Alright, so we're gonna murder Black Tiger real quick. Ew, it's a big yucky spider. Fuck you. Murder Black Tiger, leave, reset the room, and then we're going to burn the web so we don't have to pick up the other knife. Alright. Four, five, six. Damn, we used about half the fucking ammo already. Very useful stuff. Uh... Oh, there is a blue herb back here. It's like, is the game going to be a dick and not give me anything? Oh, that would explain some things. Or, not equip. Equip. Yes. Well, that was dumb. Well, you do that whole thing with the flamethrower, I guess. All right. 
Time for some more crank that shit. I'm actually going to see what's on the right hand side of this. I've never actually checked before. I think there's something there. I, I guessed wrong. There's jack shit there. Alright, crank that soldier boy again. One more time. And then we need to haul ass. I bet, I bet Chris gets hard when he sees that fucking bouldery. That's... Or wait, no, never mind. We have, we, we have to be playing as BSAA Chris, because then you can just stand in front of the boulder and he'll just fucking start beating the shit out of it. Fuck you! Stupid fucking rock! He crushes rocks under his fucking foot. Chris is the boulder master. Boulder punching asshole. I fucking, like, if you, uh... If, you, if you've played Resident Evil Village, they actually, like, fucking reference that. It's hilarious. Calls him a boulder punching asshole. I laughed way harder at that than I should have. Resident Evil Village is on my to playlist too. Like that fucking game is phenomenally good. There's lichens in it. I mean, that's just cool. You know, I love lichens. One, two, three, and then we shove it in there. Yeah, get it all up in there. Then we get our roll of duct tape. Lol, I mean cylinder. And let's get the fuck out of here. No more boulders to run away from. No more stupid bullshit. Uh, we're done with the crank now, so we can go put that fucking thing away and never touch it again. Ugh, this playthrough is so good. I love it. My fucking god. We're almost at the two hour mark, and I'm just having a blast. Ah! You weren't there in the original. All right, so put this fucking crap away. Okay, good. I'm assuming Barry doesn't show up and ride this down with us. Or does Wesker sneak down here like a, the sly devil he is and... No? Okay. So how the fuck... How do we get fucked then? Or does Chris not run from anything? Chris don't run from no one. Okay, well... Um... Actually, we're good. We're good, never mind. I don't need anything. Alright, so, as you know, Lisa's in here. We're just gonna destroy her. I ain't scared of you, bitch. Yeah, it hurts, don't it? Yeah, when you hear that, like, squidgy fucking slithery sound, that's her on the ground, like, regenerating. You can't kill her. You could pump as many of these fucking rockets as you want into her. It's not going to do any damage. You can stun her for a bit. I want to see what's up here is Chris. Uh, is that a grenade? Is that, is that a grenade? Oh my god. Yo. Awesome. Good thing I checked. That's totally worth it. I don't know, I get excited when I see defense items in this playthrough. It's like, ooh, ooh, I like those. I can literally just let zombies grab me now and they'll just fucking die. I think if you um, let a zombie grab you and you stick a grenade in its mouth, I think it dies. Like, doesn't its head explode? I have to try it. I have to try it when I get to the labs. Mostly, I kind of want to know if the grenades blow up zombies' heads uh, because... Um, I don't, I don't plan on using the kerosene or flame rounds or, well, there are no flame rounds. So like during the nitro part, I have to fucking like make sure that there are no zombies like around at all. Yes. We're going to compact that garbage. All right. There's that busted ass flamethrower. We need it to get through the door and we're still doing this stupid fucking puzzle. It's hardly a puzzle. It's just an annoyance, if anything. Back to the fucking cave where Lisa's at, now we gotta do the little, the little puzzle in there where we put the broken flamethrower in the door thingy so we can go through it. Hooray. 
I don't think there's anything in here on Chris's playthrough either. It's just the same shit. Ah! It's the fucking snakes, Metal Gear. Not that snake. Er, wait. Oop, nope, yep, nope, up, up. There we go. That's the thing that we need. And this is going to take us back to Lisa's cabin where we can effectively GTFO. All right. Good times. There's just a fucking surprise hunter in here. Surprise, motherfucker! I'd poop. I would literally poop. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, and that zombie that was down here, you can blow his ass away now if you want. Because we ain't coming back through here ever again. Everything can just die, and it's fine. I need to see how many grenades I have real quick. Four. Um, I know for a fact that those naked zombies don't come back as Crimson Heads, so there's three of them that I need to worry about. And as far as everything else is concerned, I don't believe that, uh, uh, that I need to worry about anything else. We're gonna cut through the art room one more time, say goodbye to our bird friends. Later, Gus. Later, Doc. Later, Sam. Later, Gary. Later, Frank. Later, Zed. Alright. Go behind the staircase. And we can use these now. Our boy Wesker will be down here waiting for us, though. Alright, we need to make sure that we have two inventory spaces available. Grab this. And we good. Let's fucking go, boys. Alright, I've never seen this as uh, in Chris's scenario, so I'm gonna actually see what this is. I know Wesker's down here. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit! I think I pissed her off. Alright. Same bullshit as before. Oh god, thank fucking... Thank fucking Wesker. Okay. Yeah, take your fucking thing and get the fuck out of here. She gone. Uh, an end to a poor girl's misery. I'll investigate this area a little further. Okay. He who wears sunglasses at night, I, f I got you. All right, to the labs. Uh, make sure you grab the books and the MO disc. Oh.